Good evening and welcome to this online service of Evening Prayer for Monday 19th of June 2023, part of the online prayer ministry of Christ Church Cathedral, Newcastle. I'm the Dean of Newcastle, Catherine Boyer. I acknowledge that the Deanery and Christ Church Cathedral, Newcastle stand on the unceded sovereign lands of the Wabakal and Waramai peoples, and St Peter's Hamilton, which is part of the parish, stands on the unceded sovereign lands of the Wabakal peoples. I pay my respects to Elders past and present and to any First Nations people who may be joining in this service tonight. I am committed with the parish and the diocese to Makarata to reconciliation, to listening to the wisdom of the Elders and learning from them, repenting of sins of past and present, walking humbly upon this sacred land and seeking always to care for the good gifts that God has given us in creation. Monday evening prayer can be found in the prayer book on page 393 or following along in the ePray app, which you can download free from the app store on your device. Our Psalms tonight are Psalms 112 and 113 and our reading from the second letter to the Corinthians. In our time of prayer and reflection, I'll be reading a reflection from this book, Dirt, Mess and Danger, Liturgies and Worship Resources, called The Face of God. Page 393. When we pray, we pray in the name of the Holy and Blessed Trinity, revealed to us as the Creator, the Redeemer, and the sanctifier of the world. Amen. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing, so that by the power of the Holy Spirit we may abound in hope. Glory to God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Our opening canticle, A Song of Hope. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me, because the Lord has anointed me to bring good tidings to the afflicted. The Lord has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty for the captives and release for those in prison, to comfort all who mourn, to bestow on them a crown of beauty instead of ashes, the oil of gladness instead of mourning, a garment of splendor for the heavy heart. They shall be called trees of righteousness planted for the glory of the Lord. The day is now past and the night is at hand. Let us pray with one heart and mind. Father of lights, receive the prayer and praise we offer you as our evening sacrifice. Make us the light for all the world, delivered by your goodness from all the works of darkness, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Psalms 112 and 113. If you're using a prayer book for Australia, they're on page 344. Psalm 112. O praise the Lord. Blessed are they that fear the Lord and greatly delight in his commandments. Their children shall be mighty in the land, an upright race who will be blessed. Riches and plenty shall be in their house, and their righteousness shall stand for ever. Light arises in darkness for the upright. Gracious and merciful are the righteous. It goes well with those who act generously and lend, who guide their affairs with justice. Surely they shall never be moved. The righteous shall be held in everlasting remembrance. They will not fear bad tidings, their hearts are steadfast, trusting in the Lord. Their hearts are confident and will not fear. They will see the downfall of their enemies. They give freely to the poor. Their righteousness stands forever. Their head is uplifted in glory. The wicked shall see it and be angry. They shall gnash their teeth and consume away. And the hope of the wicked shall fall. 
Psalm 113. Praise the Lord. O sing praises, you that are his servants. O praise the name of the Lord. Let the name of the Lord be blessed from this time forward and forever. From the rising of the sun to its going down, let the name of the Lord be praised. The Lord is exalted over all the nations, and his glory is above the heavens. Who can be likened to the Lord our God in heaven or upon the earth? Who has his dwelling so high, yet condescends to look on things beneath? He raises the lowly from the dust and lifts the poor from out of the dung heap. He gives them a place among the princes, even among the princes of his people. He causes the barren woman to keep house and makes her a joyful mother of children. Praise the Lord. God, who wonderfully created us and even more wonderfully restored our humanity, strengthen us by your Holy Spirit to triumph over suffering and death and grant us eternal joy through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. A reading from the second letter to the Corinthians, chapter 11, beginning at verse 7. Did I commit a sin by humbling myself so that you might be exalted, because I proclaimed God's good news to you free of charge? I robbed other churches by accepting support from them in order to serve you. And when I was with you and was in need, I did not burden anyone, for my needs were supplied by my friends who came from Macedonia. So I refrained and will continue to refrain from burdening you in any way. As the truth of Christ is in me, this boast of mine will not be silenced in the regions of Achaia. And why? Because I do not love you? God knows I do. And what I do, I will also continue to do, in order to deny an opportunity to those who want an opportunity to be recognised as our equals in what they boast about. For such boasters are false apostles, deceitful workers, disguising themselves as apostles of Christ. And no wonder, even Satan disguises himself as an angel of light. So it is not strange if his ministers also disguise themselves as ministers of righteousness. Their end will match their deeds. May your word live in us and bear much fruit to your glory. Our canticle, a song of God's children. In Christ Jesus, the life-giving law of the Spirit has set us free from the law of sin and death. All who are led by the Spirit of God are children of God. It is the Spirit that enables us to cry, Abba, Father. The Spirit bears witness that we are God's children, and if God's children, then heirs of God. We are heirs of God and fellow heirs with Christ. If we share his sufferings now, we shall be glorified with him hereafter. These sufferings that we now endure are not worth comparing with the glory that shall be revealed. For the creation waits with eager longing for the revealing of the children of God. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Lord, we beseech you to keep your family, the church, in continual godliness, that through your protection it may be free from all adversities and devoutly given to serve you in good works to the glory of your name, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. This reflection from the book, Dirt, Mess and Danger, Liturgies and Worship Resources. The face of God. Longing God, waiting patiently for us, and then entering into our experience when we enter into yours, establishing a deeper and more intimate relationship 
when we are ready to be honest with you. In this time of stillness now, as I take time to think about who I am and where I am at this particular point in my life, I meet you in my mind's eye. I form an image of what you look like and see the features of your face. Perhaps yours is a vulnerable face, weak and fearful, unsure and scared of what the future will bring. If so, you understand me, for over and again you say, it's all right, I am here, I will always walk with you. Perhaps yours is a smiling face, keen to laugh, when I tell you about what has made me happy and what has given me pleasure. If so, then you affirm me and say you want to be in my company in good times as well as bad. Perhaps yours is a disappointed face because you have expected better of me. I know I have let myself and others down but your mouth expresses no resentment, no recrimination, no judgmental disapproval. Instead, your eyes speak volumes and radiate your passionate encouragement and urge me to be more the person I can be. Perhaps yours is an angry face, for despite your hardest work, despite your best attempts, your people have not learned and still refuse to listen. All the grasping and all the suffering, all the selfishness and all the hunger, all the self-interest and all the injustice, all the barriers and all the marginalization. It wounds you greatly. It makes you outraged. It makes you cry. longing God, waiting patiently for us and then entering into our experience when we enter into yours, establishing a deeper and more intimate relationship with us. When we are ready to be honest with you, let us sense you close to us now, in our thinking, in our dreaming and in our own dis-ease. God of each and all, generous beyond measure to each and all. You know who we are, you know what we are like. Look kindly on us, deal gently with us. Help us transform our thoughts into actions, our intentions into doing and being. For the future, which is always yours, cradles fresh new hope and the future which is always ours, is the gift of heaven. Lighten our darkness, Lord, we pray, and in your great mercy, defend us from all perils and dangers of this night, for the love of your only Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. Since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us run with perseverance the race that is set before us, looking to Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of our faith. Amen. <laughs>